Hey guys, you're probably wondering why I have four hands here. It's because my son wants to help me review this uh, item today. So there you go. He's going to be with us for this one. Uh, today we're reviewing the sandbag. Uh, it's pretty, you know, basic design. All sandbags are pretty much the same. What I like about it is that it's all black. These are really hard to find on Amazon. Most of the ones you find are going to be yellow or blue on one side with those stripes on it. Now, what I don't like about it, it feels very flimsy. Uh, most of the material on the sandbags that I've gotten before on Amazon is probably medium, medium duty, heavy duty, uh, you know, fabric. This feels like it's going to rip right away. Very cheaply made. Uh, and also with this handle, this is normally the first thing that goes on the sandbags that I use. And this handle only has a single piece of strap on it. Other ones I've seen have dual straps. Uh, and yeah, the stitching feels like it's already about to give. So with the sandbag, if you're going to use it in a studio setup where you're not going to be moving it at all, it'll last you probably just fine. But if you're doing any sort of work out and about or you want to use it to hold up your tent like they show in the pictures or if you're going on set with it, it's going to rip pretty, pretty quickly. Now it has Velcro here instead of zippers. I don't care for the Velcro because I'm not going to be pulling stuff in and out. Once the sand or the rocks or whatever is in there, I want it to stay. Now with all sandbags, uh, I would recommend using a liner on the inside. Normally I'll just use a gallon Ziploc bag or uh, you know an old shopping bag or something. This makes sure that once you have the materials inside the liner, inside here, uh, it's not going to, dust isn't going to come out, you're not going to get stuff leaking out of the seams here and then when you do rip it because you know let's be honest these bags will rip eventually uh, it's going to be easier to pull the sand out without having it all just fall over the floor so again if you're using this for uh, you know studio work sure I think it'll last you but any sort of set work or anything where you're moving it around a lot it's going to give out real quick